Hello friends, this video on number systems part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The next came the concepts of rational number. Let's understand why rational number is required. So let's assume that you have one pizza and this pizza is divided among three people. One, two and three. Now tell me how much share each person got. So if you actually calculate Let's suppose this is person A, B, and C. So lady A got 1 by 4th of the pizza, lady B got 1 by 4th of the pizza, and lady C got 2 by 4th of the pizza. Right? Assuming there was 4 portion, 1 portion to lady A, two portion, uh, 1 portion to lady B, and 2 portion to lady C. So 1 by 4, 1 by 4, and if you actually uh, calculate this is 1 by 2. So half of the pizza is uh, for uh, girl C and quarter each for girl A and B. So how to represent these quarter and half? This is quarter and this is half. So how to represent this number line? If you see, it, these numbers will somewhere be here, right? The red dots. It will not be in this uh, black uh, scales. It will be the red dots somewhere where, somewhere in the middle, right? These numbers are called rational number and denoted by Q. First, tell me why it is denoted by Q. Why not rational number by R? Because Q stands for quotient. And the rational number, actually, this rational number word came from ratio. Please note, the rational number word came from ratio. Ratio means something which you can write in the form of P by Q. Where where P and Q are integers and Q obviously should not be equal to 0. So if you make Q is equal to 0, this becomes infinite. Right? So if you see this is a rational number, came from ratio because on the P by Q ratio and it is all quotient. Right? So this is rational number. It came from, Q came from this quotient. Okay? So this quarter, half, these kind of concepts we can actually represent using rational numbers. So you see, 1 by 4, 1 by 2, these are examples of rational numbers. Okay? Have you ever imagined that there can be infinite rational number between two rational numbers? Let's see what I'm talking about. Let's take any two rational number. Let's take 1 and 2. 1 is a rational number and 2 is also a rational number. Right? Because 1 you can write as 1 by 1 and 2 you can write as 2 by 1. Correct? So if you see, 1 because 1 and 2 are typically natural numbers and we know that all Natural numbers has to be a rational number. And also, you can write this one as p by q form. Now, let's see how many rational numbers I can have between one and two. Between one and two, I can have uh, three by two. Three by two is between one and two, right? Three by two is what? One point five. Or the best way to deal with this is what we can do is let's write three or four or five zeros here. And here also you have to write five zeros. Here also you have to write five zeros. Okay. Sorry, four zeros. Or, or let's write only one. This is one and this is two. So let's multiply by 10 by 10 and this also multiply by 10 by 10. So what you get here is 10 by 10 and what you get is 20 by 10. So now tell me how many numbers are there between 10 by 10 and 20 by 10. There are so many actually. If you can write 11 by 10, 12 by 10, 13 by 10, 14 by 10. 15 by 10, right? 
then you have 16 by 10, 17 by 10, 18 by 10, 19 by 10. All these are numbers are between 1 and 2. Similarly, instead of multiplying by 10 by 10, if you multiply by 100 by 100, for example, I'll show you 1 by 1 into 100 by 100, you get 100 by 100. And similarly, 2 by 1 into 100 by 100, you get 200 by 100. So if you keep this part constant, 100 and 200, you can write so many numbers. 100, 100, 200, 3. So similarly, the number between so many numbers are so many rational numbers are there between uh, 1 and 2. That is, in this case, you can say 101 by 100, 102 by 100, and list continues till 199 by 100. Correct. And all these numbers you see are rational numbers. And similarly, if you multiply by 1000 by 1000, you get all the more numbers. So between any two number, if you take you will find infinite number of rational numbers, right? So hope you understand the concepts here. So we, we took an example of 1 and 2, between 1 and 2 we showed that mean is very rational number exists. If you multiply by 10 by 10, if you multiply by 100 by 100, these mean rational number exists. If you multiply by 1000 by 1000, you will see all the more rational numbers and you can multiply by any number, right? You can multiply by 1 lakh, 1 lakh as well. So with this, exercise we can conclude that between any two rational number there are infinite number of rational numbers so the question says find five rational number between one and two pretty easy this is one this is two i can write in the rational form p by q and multiply both with 10 by 10 why 10 by 10 only because i have to find only five rational number so this becomes 10 by 10 and this becomes 20 by 10. So I can write 11 by 10, 12 by 10, 13 by 10, 14 by 10, 15 by 10. All these are 5 rational numbers. In fact, you can take any of these rational numbers, right? So you will have, this is not the only answer. There can be so many answers for this question because there are unlimited or infinite number of rational numbers between two rational numbers. Okay. We talked a lot about rational number. Let's talk about irrational number. See, rational number, we told something which can be written in the form of P by Q, where P and Q are integers and Q is not equal to zero. Why Q not equal to zero? Because if Q is equal to zero, any number, let's suppose three by zero, this is infinite. So the denominator should not be zero. It is not defined. So this is the definition of rational number. Irrational number, has just what you call a negation of this definition that is number which can't be written in p by q form so numbers which can be written in the p by q form is rational number number which can't be written in the p by q form is irrational number example, if you have a rational, a rational number 5.273289160532, right, 8.0789, some number, right, list continues. So this is a rational number if there is no pattern which is same and the list is, this decimal point is infinite. Like root 2 is a good example of irrational number. Pi is a good example of irrational number. We say root 2 as 1.414. That is we want, this is, we can't say root 2 as 1.414. Actually, root 2 is approximately 1.414. I hope you understand the difference between equal to and approx. Because root 2 is not equal to 1.414. Just for our ease of calculation, we say root 2. This is 1.414. Similarly, pi is not equal to 3.14. Just for our ease of calculation, we assume pi as 3.14. Actually, pi, if you see, if you try to actually find the value of pi, the list continues. We have so many numbers here. Right? But if you can write something in the form of p by q, that is rational number, where p and q are integers and q is not equal to zero. If you can, if you can't write something in the form of p by q, where p and q are integers and 
two is not equal to zero, then that is irrational number. Okay, pi root two are example a good example of irrational number. In fact, root three is also a good example of irrational number. See root three. This is also a good example of irrational number. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.